uh, ever since I tried to compete at the Legion show in, uh, oh, in Nevada back in October, I've been having some issues with my stomach. I can't keep food down for some reason. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more uncensored, a little more explicit, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram right now and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right. Now let's get into what you guys came in to see. Now, this story was brought to my attention and I think it was more important um, to shine light on it because this man was a very successful, um, achieving, very caring of others and well respected when it came to the bodybuilding industry. Um, it's unfortunate that his life came to a sudden halt, you know, at such short notice. And the mystery and the mystique that surrounds his death is definitely worth talking about. So, um, you know, I figured we'd talk about it. I want to hear what you guys got to say in the comments, what y'all think happened, opposed to what we was told what happened, and then we're going to take it from there, all right? So, um, today we're going to step into the fitness world and speak on the tragic death of a legend in the game that went by the name of Cedric McMillan. As some of you may or may not know, Cedric has passed away recently at the age of 44 and his death seemed to be getting a lot of attention because a lot of people are unsure of how Cedric actually passed away. Everyone has an idea or a good guess based on the field he was in and taking supplements upon other things uh, from what the media told us, but no one knows 100% the cause of his death you know what it actually was. Um, I read somewhere else that he may have been battling you know, uh, COVID. If I'm not mistaken. So, like I said, it's weird, man. So we're going to talk about that and also explore the events that led up to his death as well. I was more intrigued by doing this because I feel that before Cedric passed away, he dropped some gems before he passed in the live. For anybody coming up in the fitness world that plan to reach his level, just know that health should be a huge priority as well as knowing when to stop while you're ahead and your body is giving you those signs. All right. So um, let's get straight into it, man. Now, Cedric McMillan passed away April 12, 2022 at the age of 44 due to health problems with his body. Though this isn't the first scare, he had a previous near-death experience prior to actually passing away back in July of 2021 when he was suffering from heart problems. At that time, he spent about three weeks in the hospital and lost a total of 14 kilograms of weight. However, that didn't stop Cedric from preparing for the up and coming 2022 Arnold Classic with no success. Now, after his comeback at the Legion Sports Fest, Cedric says that he began getting stomach problems and had trouble keeping food and water down. All right. His exact words were, quote, ever since I tried to compete at the Legion show in Nevada in October, I've had stomach problems. I can't keep food down for some reason. I hiccup all day and half the night. And whenever I eat anything or drink water, it comes back up. Nothing wants to stay down. All right. Now, um, <clears throat> I don't think this is any symptoms of the virus. Um, like, they tried to paint the picture, but, you know, let's keep that in mind. Anyway, those were words straight from his last live that he did in which he explains the reason he even admitted that he was suffering was because people on the Internet was already talking about him. So he began getting texts about people checking in on him. So he figured he might as well tell people what's going on with him himself so they could get the truth. And honestly, I'm glad he did because that opened the door for us to know what was really going on with him. Had we not known that, we just would have thought he was on a treadmill and, you know, pretty much what they told us. A lot of people think just because the news says that he had a heart attack while training on a treadmill that we should just take their word for it. However, I truly believe, you know, something else. I think the same reason he wasn't able to eat or drink anything may be the same thing that led to his death. 
All right. Now, in that live that Cedric did, uh, he mentioned that he kept deleting the video because it was hard for him to admit that he was going through something. And I think that it's because of his ego. You know, I say that because of all the success and accomplishments that Cedric had for him to let people know that he's going through a vulnerable time like that will make it seem like he's sort of, a, you know, weak at the time. Like it's a kink in his armor and him knowing that he wouldn't be able to compete also hurt him as well now cedric explains that four weeks after the legion fest he went to the doctor to let them know what was going on and he documented his weight every time being 278 uh at the time that he says he he was advised not to compete in the up and coming show he explains that he was being stubborn still eating and thinking that if he ate food and threw up half of it at least some of it would still remain in his body and if you ask me that's a crazy theory but he admits he was just being stubborn you know um once again anytime your body rejects something that's you know you need to get checked out if your body is rejecting food or anything it pretty much and just <clears throat> that should just tell you that pretty much something's going wrong with your body your body will always let you know when something's going wrong and at that time it was telling him but he was just being stubborn all right now the part that gets me is that he explains he was still using supplements to try and compensate for the calories because he was basically losing weight on top of all that he was also taking medicine to try and help but he says they weren't doing anything neither so that's when he took the time out to pretty much contact uh the event the people that was holding the event and tell him that he wasn't going to be competing and they told him he could still at least attend the event right his weight also dropped around that time to 266 and um here's where it gets interesting in the live for me right because i pick up on the little things now he said quote when you're a sponsored athlete you get protein powders and stuff like that to represent a brand but when you got an endorsement contract this company is paying marketing dollars to use your image to represent them and help sell products so it's real easy to feel like you're just material and when you're not in the shape to really represent the company and bring in money for them you know they throw your butt away and i've been worried about that all right now here's what i gotta say about that and a lot of guys coming up especially in the bodybuilding world you need to take heed to this because nothing is more important than your health not the money not the contracts none of that because guess what if you're not here how would you be able to get those contracts <laughs> you see what i'm saying if you're not here how would you be able to have anything that that's the part that kind of blew me away about it but once again i think maybe his pride his ego got the best of him and who he was and he felt that he had to prove something like he also stated in the live now let's be real as well these companies don't really care about you they don't care they just know that they're paying you for your image they're paying you to advertise that's all they care about get their product out there so while you're being paid to advertise for them and you're taking their supplements because it's part of your job just understand that different supplements may take a negative toll on your body and affect you in a very negative way you're right and these supplements and or steroids i personally don't trust them but i don't judge anybody that take them so if you're going to take them make sure you know what you're putting into your body before you just go taking something because you want or need the money you see what i'm saying if you're not here to take any of the supplements or the money then what does any of that matter Cedric explained that he was sponsored by brands and even though his body wasn't feeling good he had to hold up his end of the bargain or else he felt that he wouldn't get paid you know um he felt like like he said they'll throw him away but is it really worth it is the money really worth your life because now look all right now i feel personally that his stubbornness got him in a bad situation where he could have prevented it ahead of time if he just would have took a break and relaxed for a little while and once again if your body is pretty much telling you that you know it's not taking the food it's not taking the liquid especially water that you're putting in your body that should be a strong enough sign for you to go seek help stop what you're doing and go seek help you know then he mentions that he knew people was going to talk on the internet and he wonders how friends and family would have perceived them but who cares 
And this is where the pride and the ego part comes in. See, that's the pride in us caring about what others think and want to press our peers. But why? You know, he said that he feel he uh, he had something to prove. Why? He won a bunch of awards and was very well established in the fitness game. So what more did he need to prove? You know, um, in the live, he also says that, you know, he was kind of contemplating with himself back and forth whether him being sick is that a sign for him to retire or stop or is this where it stops yeah yeah this is exactly where it is to stop but i also blame the people around him as well they had to be in his ear to tell him yo you have to stop we're not going to treat you no different we're not going to look at you no different you have to go seek help and maybe that would have put him in the right direction you know maybe that would have helped ahead of time before it was too late they saying he passed away. Let's go with what they said. They say he passed away on a treadmill training. What was he doing training? Had he not been training and take it, uh, took a break, he wouldn't be in that situation. All right. So um, Cedric also explains that after the Legion Sports Fest in Vegas, like I pointed out earlier, he began having stomach problems and then uh, and everything he tried to eat, even water, came back up. His body rejected it. Now I'm not throwing no claims out there, right? But inquiring minds such as myself find it rather suspect that after that show, he began experiencing these symptoms and nobody seemed to know what it is. Nobody seemed to care. Nobody was focused on that a little bit more. Why isn't nobody investigating that? Whether it was the food or maybe he had a drink, what, whatever it was, something. But something needs to be investigated if he clearly states where he felt the change came from. Where it started at. And you know, legendary Cali Muscle, he's even been stated that uh, bodybuilding needs to be stopped. And I personally agree. Too many young men are dying at very young ages. And I believe it's because our bodies weren't made to go through the intense training and supplements that they put in their bodies to go to these competitions. It's not healthy. And these guys know that and still participate. The league know it and still allow it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know that that like I said, it's to each his own. Some people may agree, some people uh, may not. At the end of the day, you know the statistics don't lie. You know Cedric was you know fortunate enough to see the age of 44, but there's kids dying as young as 23, 24, 20, you know, in their 20s, all from bodybuilding, you know, and all that stuff. You know, um, so that's pretty much it, man. Once again, though, y'all, please let this be a lesson to everyone out there thinking about joining the bodybuilder game. If you're experiencing anything wrong with your body at first hand, take it very, very serious. Get checked. Whatever the doctor advised you to do, evaluate it yourself and take heed however you wish to do so. And remember, you only get one body, man. And unfortunately, you put it through a lot when you're professional bodybuilding. You may not know, you may think it's just cool or just a sport, but you're putting your body through certain phases that technically is really not supposed to be going through forcefully. So if something pops up, you know, a red flag or something, go get it checked out almost immediately. All right. So um, rest in peace to your boy, Cedric McMillan, man. He definitely was a pivotal figure in the bodybuilding game. and He will truly be missed. My condolences go out to his family. And his fans, y'all let me know y'all feel in the comments, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.